For those of you that were concerned about parents being kept in the dark about children seeking out transgender medical intervention, at least within the United Kingdom, I have some fairly important news for you. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I take you to a news article by LBC, which brings about some fairly important news for those that are worried about children who are seeking out transgender medical intervention and whether this is going to be kept from their parents, but also the general guidelines that schools are going to have to abide by when children approach their teachers within schools and what the schools should be doing about it. So let's move to that article and take a look at that. So according to this article by LBC, which I will link in the description below, uh, under new guidance, schools must tell parents if children start using a different gender identity. Now, as a parent myself, not just as a barrister who has practiced in family law, but as both the barrister and the parent, I can tell you that it really is the parent's job and responsibility and duty and all the rights that go along with it to know and to have control and decisions over what their child is doing. And that includes their gender identity. Because as a parent, you really do need to be aware and on top of uh, the child's choices and what happens in that child's life. For example, what religion do they prefer? And what uh, interests do they take on and which school do they go to and all various other things. But of course, gender identity, very much in the news and very much debated in, in recent weeks, months and years, is something that parents ought to have a hand in. So under new guidance, schools are to tell the parents if the child starts to use a different gender identity. Uh, moving down in this article by um, Emma Soterio here, uh, schools will be ordered to tell parents if people start to use a different gender identity and ban them from using opposite sex changing rooms under new government guidance. Um, according to the document, which apparently is still being finalised, it's expected to state uh, that families should be informed if the child begins to use a new name or wearing a different uniform, such as um, a girl wearing trousers, for example, or, or a boy wearing a skirt. Um, it's expected to make clear that children who identify as a different gender from their biological sex cannot share changing or shower facilities with the opposite sex. So this is really directly addressing, um, as it says here, Rishi Sunak is very concerned. So this is directly addressing these concerns that lots of people have of boys using girls' facilities and vice versa. It's expected to make clear that children who identify as a different gender from their biological sex uh, cannot share changing or shower facilities with the opposite sex. Instead, it will be a recommended that they are provided bespoke facilities where possible. Um, this apparently reported by the Sunday Times. Um, as I say, this coming after uh, Rishi Sunak pictured here said that he was very concerned about claims emerging that schools were not informing parents. Now, my view, both as a parent and as a barrister, for what it's worth, schools very much should be informing parents of anything like this that affects the child in any way, emotionally, developmentally, um, of course, educationally. And I came across a very interesting take on this just this morning, that these children were being referred to as the school's children. Um, well, they are, in, in this, what I read this morning or, or listened to this morning. Um, they are the school's students. They are not the school's children, as it was put there. And that's very much the case. It, it Really, they are the parents' children. So it should be the parents that are making these decisions. And ultimately, um, if those uh, decisions are being denied or they're the wrong decisions, then perhaps interventions can happen and a court can step in and make decisions instead. But then in doing so, the court would apply the same approach that it does in any other situation by putting the child and the child's interest first and taking those decisions on behalf of the child where those decisions cannot be made properly by the parents. 
Um, there's also a link here to um, a petition um, after major changes and half-term uh, holidays. So I will um, direct you to read that as well, which is an interesting read. Um, and some contradictory um, information that you can read as well. Um, other guidance included in the document um, suggests that biological males who have socially transitioned should not be allowed to join girl teams for certain contact and competitive sports. And the same goes for biological females wanting to join boys teams. However, the rules around non-contact sports will be more relaxed. Quite clearly, when you have, let's say, a boys uh, rugby match, for argument's sake, uh, there's obviously contact between students. But if one or another has uh, identified as the opposite uh, gender and then wants to take part in those, uh, this guidance included in this document is going to suggest um, that biological males who've socially transitioned should not be allowed to join girls teams and the same for biological females who want to join boys teams um, and as i said uh, non-contact sports will be more relaxed that is a bit of common sense uh, the details of the guidance come out as uh, rishi sunak prepares to deliver a speech um, on his plans for education later in the year the guidance will be released on the relationship sex and health uh, education highlighting that teaching that conflates uh, biological sex and gender could breach political impartiality rules. And this goes to show and, and to, to raise the point and confirm the point that I have said that this is a political debate of sorts. And it is very much debated, despite what a few people said on Twitter. They say that this is not a debate, it's just a set of facts. Well, they are only a set of facts from one perspective. And it is very much debated as to how they should be applied how people should interpret them and understand them. So for the time being, for those of you that, um, which I know you were because I do read the comments, um, I don't obviously respond to all the comments because I don't get time, but a lot of you that have been worried in the comments section about these sort of issues as to whether uh, we will be going in the same direction as Washington State, if you missed that video, I will link that in the description below as well. If any of you that are worrying that the UK is going in the same direction, it appears not. It appears that uh, under uh, Rishi Sunak and others, this guidance will be telling schools that they must tell parents if the child starts to use a different gender identity, which, by the way, I can fully understand because much like anybody that is born um, attracted to the same sex instead of the opposite sex, this is something that until very recent years has not been accepted and is still not accepted in some parts of the world. Um, but just as is somebody that, that is born that has a genuine gender dysphoria, meaning they do not identify with the body into which they were born. So in, in their head, they are, uh, let's say, female, but they're in the male body, born into a male body and vice versa. I fully understand that. But at the same time, it very much is a political debate of sorts and very much a debate as to how schools and other organizations such as my uh, previous videos where uh, trans persons have been banned from certain sporting events. Um, I will try to dig that link out as well. Um, when I tell you that I'm going to link in the description I always have to come back later and find it. So do remind me if I forget but I will try to dig that out. Um, having done so many videos they get buried among the hundreds of others. But that was just some reassurance to those that are clearly very worried about what's going on here and whether the UK is going to follow that same path. And as I say, it would seem not. It would seem that at the moment we are um, going to take a stand that um, schools must be telling parents and the schools uh, will be keeping biological sex children in uh, separate changing rooms and on separate sports teams, save for, uh, as it suggests, um, a lesser approach for non-contact sports. So in the meantime, um, if you want me to keep you updated on these, please do hit that like button and subscribe. I always appreciate that. It helps my channel grow. Um, I am very quickly approaching 300,000. I would be very pleased about that uh, on my mission for 1 million subscribers to help 1 million people understand law because that is my goal on this channel. Um, as many of you know, I started this channel um, years ago now to help you understand law. I very much appreciate a, each and every single one of you that subscribes. 
and support all of my efforts. You can join as a channel member. You can join on my website, blackbeltbarrister.com. You can check out my app, Proofify, which helps you to store evidence to prove a case in court. Another video coming up, uh, spoiler here, another video coming up very shortly. Amazon delivered me a bunch of cardboard instead of a very expensive bit of kit, which I will talk to you about in another video. So you better make sure you subscribe for that. Uh, more detail may come in Black Belt Secrets, my sister channel, which is also linked in the description below. Check that out as well. In the meantime, I'm going to cook and eat. So uh, you can also subscribe to Easy Chinese Cooking, which is also linked in the description below, which is my dear wife's channel, uh, where we cook delicious Chinese food. And you can check that out as well. It is my mission to help you understand things. And I very much appreciate you being with me here today. And with that in mind, I thank you for watching. Thank you.